One final time from the event center on the campus of Colorado Christian University in this month's edition of the RMAC Showcase. CCU boasts 13 NCAA Division II teams on campus, and our next interview has coached several of them. Carly is back one final time with a coach who has worn multiple hats. Starting with her family's history of track and field, Carissa Verkaik found that her love of basketball is where she finds home. Carissa Verkaik's love of sports started back in Michigan while in high school and then into college. Verkaik was a dual sport athlete, excelling in both track and basketball. It was under the coaching of her father that inspired her to switch from teaching to being a full-time coach. My dad was actually my track coach in high school, um, and then he was the main uh, just a personal trainer, I guess you could say, for me, for basketball. We would go in the gym every single day, and the goal would always be to beat him. So I had to pursue the education route. I taught middle school math and Bible for three years, and just it just didn't settle with me. I was also coaching at the same time at the high school level, and I found that at the end of the day, that's what was bringing me more energy. That energy and passion of coaching is what drove Chris's desire to go beyond teaching and make the move. I um, wanted to pursue higher. And so that's when I decided to move out to Colorado. I'm from Michigan uh, originally. And I didn't have a job, I didn't, uh, but I decided to come out to get my master's. And so I got my master's up at University of Northern Colorado in sports psychology. Um, and then through moving out here, that's how I got connected with my family friend who then connected me to John Pogue, the head track and cross country coach. After meeting head coach John Pogue, Chris's natural gift of coaching and building relationships came through. In our program, she did a great job building relationships, um, and I think that's so important anytime you're working with student athletes, just to have a pulse on, you know, not just where they are as athletes, but as people as well. And so she's really gifted in that area. She tends to undersell herself in the X's and O's uh, aspect of the sport. She's, uh, you know, clearly gifted in, in that spot too. Is just a, an outstanding basketball player and just a great competitor. And when you're a great competitor, I think it translates uh, across all, all sports, regardless of what you're coaching. Top of the relationships, it's the competitiveness. Um, there's nothing like being in a sport where you're competing. And, and from the coaching aspect, it's, it's all about strategy and, and helping your athletes learn how to compete. Coach for Kike is doing a great job helping shape Colorado Christian athletes both on the field and the court. But there's no question in her mind where her future lies. If I had to choose between the two, it would be basketball. Uh, that has been my first love um, since I started playing sports. And it's what got me into playing um, in the beginning and has been around for the longest time for me. And it, it's something that's never left. Coach Verkaik is now in the off season with the Cougars, getting the girls prepared for next season. With the RMAC Showcase, I'm Carly Schwartzkopf. Thank you again, Carly, for all of your hard work this month. That does it for the Colorado Christian edition of the RMAC Showcase. I can't thank you enough for sticking around as we spend some time with the Cougars. Next month, it's time to hand out some more trophies as the Spring Sports Championships will take center stage. For everyone at the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, I'm Jason Carter. Thank you again so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next month as we crown champions and All-Americans. We'll see you then.